Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Now, before I teach you guys all the cool stuff that I showed in the updates, I want to go backtrack a bit to our mouse look script. Now the reason to that is, I personally don't think it's smooth enough. So if I run this game, and I'll show you what I mean, please ignore the cool elevator, I'll explain that in a minute. Now if you look left and right with this mouse look script, I'll look up and down, it's fairly smooth, but if you start doing things like shooting and aiming down the sight and do that, it's not very smooth. So if you want to try to get headshots, sometimes you miss, and sometimes it kind of lags the mouse mouse grip. Kind of, it's kind of, I won't say lag, it's kind of jaggedy, so it kind of breaks in between, and it's kind of stiff. Now what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to make this very smooth, so when you look left, I'm going to have values which catch up to your position which makes the camera smoother and um, it's going to give it a very cool effect so let's do that so I'm going to stop this and the first thing you want to do is you want to open your master script alright okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to actually start to find the variables I need now the first one is going to be for x for Vol stands for velocity and it's going to be a type float. The next one's going to be for y wall. It's going to be a type float as well. The next one's going to be for current x rotation and it's going to be a type float as well. The next one's going to be for current x. Oops. Y rotation. It's going to be a type float as well. The last one's going to be for smooth time. Once again, a float. Save that. Now go into the update function, and for the rotation x, let's comment out the following lines. So we want to comment out the clamp angle thing over here. Okay, and um. comment out this line here and then transform dot local rotation equals delete the last two lines over there and put quaternion dot Euler open bracket close bracket closing semicolon hit enter on the above line so you have a line above that and type the following current x rotation equals mats f dot smooth damp open bracket now as you can see over here it tells you that smooth damp takes a float as its first parameter then the target as a float the target is trying to reach then it needs a velocity as a reference it's telling you right over there and then for the last part it needs a timing system so how smooth it goes so let's do that so I want the current float to be current x rotation oops and then the target is going to be rotation X, so our movement on our X axis of the mouse, comma the X velocity, comma smooth time times time dot delta time. Save that. Now in here, put zero, comma current X rotation comma zero. Save that. You can copy these two lines, go into the Y section and common up rotation Y clamp angle. Same for this one here. Pretty much delete this line and paste the two new lines we just copied. Paste in there and change the current X to Y 
for this one, for that one, and in this one, delete it from here, put zero, and put current y rotation over here. Now save that, and we're pretty much done. If you're going to Unity, I'm just going to make sure there's no errors. Okay, sweet. Now you see the X velocity and Y velocity over there? Don't add no value to those. They are pretty much useless. So actually, let's go back into the script and let's make these private. Cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want people to mess with those, so you might just hide them away. All right, save that. So I'm gonna make sure they go away. All right, now the smooth time is currently set to zero, and I want to show you what happens. So if I run the game, I look left and right, pretty much the same, isn't it? There's no smoothness or whatnot. Now, if I go down here and set the smooth time to let's say 6.5, oh, not 54. Watch what happens. So this is for the y-axis, okay? You see it? It slowly goes up and it catches up to your position. Now it's hard to see on one axis. So stop the game, set the smooth time to 8, forget 6. And then go to your main player and do the same thing on his mouse look script as well. Smooth time to 8. So if you run it now, it's going to be a completely different mouse look script. Now I did say look at this beautiful elevator. Now that is something that we're covering again. Now if you remember I had a tutorial tutorial on the elevator. It's pretty much basic. It just went up, down, and that's it. And it was a trigger based thing. But now we're gonna change it. We're gonna have the elevators work by an extra control panel, one outside to open the doors on every floor inside of the lift control panels which will allow you to go on certain floors the lift will be able to find out what floor it's on via crossing a trigger so that will automatically trigger it and tell it you know you're on floor five six seven or whatnot and depending on where you press it we're gonna get the lifts reference find out where it is on what floor and tell it to come down to where you are. Now that's going to be a pretty exciting tutorial and I'm looking forward to that. I'll be giving the model away soon as well so yeah as always thank you very very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed working on it <laughs> and I'll see you soon.